There are a couple of uh, new and exciting things that I've learned about Rivian's pickup truck and the SUV today and it's coming directly from Rivian. As a matter of fact, they put out a six minute video out there on social media. I guess they got bored with all of us making videos about them. They're like, yeah, no, we'll cut out the middleman. We'll, we'll do video on our own and it's a good video they actually uh, uh, kind of outline their journey i don't know if you guys know but rivian has been around for many years they were in a stealth mode for many years before they unveiled the car so they didn't kind of have a luxury of having all this hoopla and and a, a lot of publicity to kind of you know energize them maybe they had to search for sort of other sources of energy and it's pretty pretty interesting how they did it and the entire journey but there are a couple of things that i saw there that I don't I don't think I've seen before now it's kind of hard to keep up with everything that's going on because this car has been displayed all over the place lately uh, so there are two things that have something to do with the user interface that I wanted to share and by the way did you know that uh, these videos are broadcasting live on patreon so if you want to be the first ones to know all of the news in the electric car universe join me on patreon uh, this is how I survive as a full-time youtuber so you get to get the news right away and I get to eat I think it's a pretty good exchange. Anyway, the link is in the description of this video. But let me play you the clip that um, that um, I believe one of their UI guys were explaining uh, of the feature I kind of never heard of. So here we go. The entire interface is one infinite plane to the left or right with one visible space in the middle. The applications are here. We can scroll through them. You can expand each application to full screen or down to its native state. That's pretty cool. So here's a screenshot from that. And um, so I did not know that it is kind of a, a endless scroll uh, from le left to right. Uh, and I'm, I'm wondering if, I mean, what do you guys think? Let me know in a, in a comment section. Of course, it depends on how many apps and sections are there. If there's like 20 scrolling through them, that could be a little bit tough. And I'm assuming there will be a menu on the bottom. I don't see it in the screenshot. I don't see that menu where you would be able to access this apps like directly. But it's definitely an interesting concept that obviously is taken from our phones where the scroll is infinite up and down. Interesting concept. Con concept. Now, don't forget their screen is kind of horizontal uh, and not vertical. So sometimes you're going to have to reach all the way to the right. I actually have a video coming up about comparing the vertical and horizontal screens of Tesla and whether or not horizontal screens really should be a thing. But don't forget the Rivian has a horizontal screen also, relatively large one behind the steering wheel. And we'll, we'll address that one in, in a second. And by the way, notice the weather app. This is something that I don't see, I haven't seen in, in Tesla, but you know, this is all goes to, this all goes to their target audience, right? They're very particular about target audience, about the off-roading, about uh, um, overlanding. And so weather is kind of important, right? If you've ever done it, you know, there's one thing you, like I'm flying to LA tomorrow and I want to know what the weather is like, but you know, if you're camping out there, you know, with a tent, <laughs> you definitely want to know what the weather is going to be like. So having an app, built in there. I mean, it's very simple, right? But you, you can definitely see that they're targeting, they're targeting a very specific audience and I think they're doing a really, really good job. So this is very interesting inter interface and I wonder if there will be some other changes and shortcuts done to it. But this is the first time I see it and this is the first time I see it as a concept. Let me know in, a con uh, in the comment section what do you guys think. But the other thing that I learned actually is way cooler than that. Uh, before I get to that, of course, a quick reminder that this video and this channel is sponsored by Climate Exchange. The new Tesla raffle is back. And this time, if you win, you get pretty much any Tesla you want, uh, up to $195,000 in configuration. So really any Tesla you want. Uh, you can enter using the uh, link in the description of this video. And even if you don't win, you're still going to be contributing to a great cause. This is a great organization. But the, here's the thing. Only 4,000 tickets are going to be sold. So your chances are pretty damn good. All right, so check that out. But uh, here's another clip uh, from uh, the same guy uh, about another feature that I really, really like. The off-road maps that we will deliver will be contour-based maps as well as uh, satellite imagery, etc. So they have a very good idea spatially where you are. Yeah, this is, and here's a, here's a close-up of that. Uh, I absolutely love the fact that they're pretty much implementing the 3D maps and, and, and they're, I'm assuming it's based on like landscaping uh, and uh, the uh, landscaping satellite images that are kind of uh, parsed into 3D. Um, and then, then as you can see, this screen is, is behind the steering wheel. See the steering wheel right there. Perfect place to put in there because this also becomes important, right? Um, and if you notice, you even can see the levels 
at which car is front, back, left to right. Another important thing when you're off-roading, right? Because at some point you want to know if you're going to tip your truck, you you will be you will be the first one to know. So that's a, that's a useful a useful feature. And of course, now the range here is about uh, what 228 left. So I'm assuming judging by the by the battery charge there so it's a 250 mile uh battery at least at the point of testing we don't know when uh that's going to happen but i gotta tell you i absolutely love it um there's also another thing and maybe you guys can explain to me what is going on with those wheel um little uh, uh progress bars or um I, I i don't know what it is just quite yet i reached out to Rivian, they'll explain but i'm sure you guys will definitely let me know in the description of this video but there's another something that's very important i'm assuming for people who go off road um i think this is something that um we're all going to be going towards in terms of 3d mapping right but you know in the city with buildings and and children and ducks crossing as we saw to the video the other day when tesla uh, model 3 just i guess uh was breaking for the little ducklings there that's pretty cute <laughs> but um this is another feature that again they are targeting their audience and it makes me wonder you know uh what will tesla pickup truck be not i mean i know everyone wants to know what it's going to look like uh, you know and and i know it's gonna it's gonna be really awesome for a lot of especially for a lot of people who are who are techies right but is this really going to appeal to people who want to take the truck off road uh and maybe use it as a work truck and and do overlanding and stuff like that i i really am dying to know whether or not the audience are going to be similar or very different and and rivian is going to go one direction and tesla is going to continue going into a kind of a high-tech direction not that Rivian doesn't have high-tech stuff but it is definitely really really interesting and i absolutely i am <coughs> i'm digging i'm i can't wait i'm my, i'm choking up so i don't know if i'm going to be at the tesla uh pickup truck unveiling uh, the way they handle video a uh, video they ha the way they handle media is really uh don't get me wrong so if i if i'm there i'll report about that off from that location though a lot of times they play copyright music so that's not even possible and don't forget to follow me on the instagram i'm just about to uh get to los angeles there will be a lot of behind the scenes stuff with a ford unveiling with the uh with the la auto show and possibly tesla unveiling so follow me at e for electric on instagram for all of that information and of course don't forget to subscribe to our vip list that's where you get bonus stories and then there are sometimes really awesome stories that are just not able to fit in into the broadcast every day here so and it's free uh the link is also in the description of this video all right uh looking forward to your comments let me know what you think about these uh, new details as far as the ui is concerned and just how useful they are for the off-roading other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged